guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automatically deliver and sell digital products with a tool called System.io. If you haven't heard of the tool System.io, it's an all-in-one marketing tool that literally does everything. From a drag and drop website builder to landing pages, email campaigns, webinars, and it can even host courses. It's a really unique tool because unlike any other website builders, it's really focused on automation and really helping you to sell more. Personally, I think it's better than any website builder I've ever tried because of how intuitive it is. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put any links to resources in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe so I can keep creating content for you guys. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a system.io account. And the great thing is, is I've actually set up a two-step digital product funnel that you can literally just download straight away and it's going to automatically put the entire template in your system.io account so it makes things really nice and easy it's basically like a one-click install so all you need to do is sign up and you'll get that template i'll show you what it looks like i mean you can see a little screenshot of it here uh, let me show you. So this is the, the funnel that you'll get a copy of. So it is completely customizable. You can enter in all your details. You can customize absolutely everything. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Okay, so once you've gotten your free systems.io account, you can download that funnel and it will automatically put you and it will take you to your funnels page which is this part here so you'll see the funnel when it goes into your dashboard so this is what it will look like now all you're going to need to do is delete these two pages here the first ones because you're not going to need those and inside here you'll have your digital product order form and your thank you page so those are the two pages that are going to help you sell your digital products one of the things that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up Stripe or PayPal to actually accept money. So when people purchase your digital products, you've actually got a way of receiving and collecting that money. So let's do that now. You're going to come over to your settings on the right hand side and you're going to select payment gateways. And you'll see here that I've already got my Stripe and my PayPal account set up. So you can choose whichever one. You don't have to go with both of them. I usually do recommend going with both of them just because they're the two main ones that are used and people can actually choose how they want to pay, which gives them more options, which is nice for them, but also great for you because you can accept your money in two different ways. The other thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to select your currency. To do that, you just need to come to the left hand side and you need to select payment pages and you need to select if you are going to, you know, receive money in US dollars, Australian dollars or whatever it is. I choose US dollars mainly because I want to target everyone internationally and I feel like that's the most recognized currency. And also the other great thing about that is I get it transferred into New Zealand dollars. And when the exchange rate's really, really good, it means that it's almost double the money, which is great. Okay, so once the funnel has copied into your system.io account, you can click on it here on the left-hand side and you'll see there are a couple of pages here. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you delete these first two pages here because you don't actually need them. And you can do that by clicking on the little dots and just, just select remove. Okay, so the two pages that you will have left is the digital product order form. This is a cart page. So this has got the information where people can actually enter their details and purchase. And then a thank you page. Now the thank you page appears automatically and you can put customized messages and it's really cool. You even have the option of delivering your digital product there as well through a button, which is super simple. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you update the URL of these two pages because you want to customize it to your own stuff. So all you need to do is write in your digital product name and just make sure you keep the words order form because later on it makes it really easy for you to identify with the URL what it is that you're actually you know, looking at and selling and things. And you want to make sure that you do the same on the thank you page and hit save afterwards. So once you've done that, you want to come back to the first page, which is the digital product order form, and we're going to edit the design. So you do that by clicking on the right hand side, you're going to hit edit page. 
Now with system.io, it's super simple, like it's a drag and drop. You've got so many options on the left hand side for things that you want to use and enter. But I just suggest just keeping with the template to keep it really simple and quick and effective for you. So to edit, all you do is double click and you can edit your name up there and you can insert the pricings of your digital product. I always find that things sell better when they've got the seven, a seven at the end of them. And I think there's like a proven sales um, thing about it as well. So I usually keep it to that. And all you need to do is enter some information about your digital product. I would stick to this format because this is what is proven to sell. So you wanna talk about the benefits of what it's gonna help people actually do. And down here, I've also just got a little disclaimer about there's no refunds for digital products. This is just, it's really hard with refunds and digital products because once somebody actually has a PDF in their inbox, there's no way for them to like not actually read the information and for you to be able to get a refund. So it's not really fair to anyone. Um, so I just put that there. Of course, you can choose to give refunds if people are really not happy with it or anything like that, but it's up to you. I've just put it in there. And down here is the information for the contact information and the payment methods, which um, we set up previously. And you will notice here that this information doesn't match at the moment. That's because we've got to set it up in a second. But you can customize this any way that you like. But I would just stick to, you know, keeping it simple and maybe changing the button color and um, updating the terms and conditions that you already have. To do that, you can just double click that and add in like a link to wherever your terms and conditions are. One of the things that you might want to do as well is update the SEO settings uh, in your in this page. So you can come to settings and down the bottom, you will see that there are a whole bunch of information that you can put in. So you can put in title, the description, the keywords, author, and a social image if you're sharing. On the same page as well, you can do you know fonts and things like that, or you can change things uh, one by one by just selecting them and highlighting them. If you want to change the color of text, you can highlight that and you know you can put in you know brand codes. So if you've got like a custom um, brand color that you want to put in there, you just put your hex code in there. So it's very simple, it's very easy, and it's really great to update. Now, once you've made your changes, you want to make sure that you save your changes by hitting the save up here. If you don't save, nothing is going to be saved. You can also preview your changes by this little eye icon here. Okay, so let's go and do the same with the thank you page. Now, the thank you page is a similar way of editing. You click on the left hand side and you click on edit page and it's really simple and it's just quick so because people basically once they've purchased they just want to get their digital product so you can put anything that you like in here just make sure you update the footer as well and you have got a couple of different options here i'm going to show you you can download here and what you can do is you can link your files so you can upload a pdf or you can send them to a link that's how that that's the two ways that you can do it there or if you don't want to do that at all and you actually want to send them to you want to send them an email or if you want to do both I'm going to show you how to do that as well okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to save this so we make sure we save it and we are going to add the pricing plans now there are two things you need to do with pricing plans the first thing you need to do is add a tag and then the next thing you need to do is set up the pricing plan so tags are just a way of being able to identify who's bought something. So say for example, someone buys your digital product and it tags them with an identifier and then it puts them into your list so that you know that they've bought that specific product. So you just come to contacts, you go to tags and you hit create and you create, create the name of your tag. So I'm just gonna call this one digital product test, but you might wanna call it the name of your actual digital product and then you save it. That's all you need to do from here. That's just the identifier. Okay, so let's go back into our funnel and now we'll set up the pricing structure or the pricing plan. Okay, so you wanna make sure you hit on digital product order form and we are gonna set up that pricing. Okay, so just down the bottom, you will see that there are different types of offers here. So digital product and physical product. We obviously wanna make sure that we select digital product. So here are the pricing plans here. So you click on the button, the plus button, 
and you have got one-time payment, subscription or payment plan. For this example, I'm just gonna show you the one-time payment because we're just setting up the straight transaction of somebody buying a digital product. So we'll hit one-time payment and you can create a new one and you will call it whatever your digital product name is. The price plan name on displayed on your dashboard, that's what you see and the order form version is what somebody who is buying it sees. Now the statement descriptor, that's what they also see as well. So I would just make sure that you keep everything nice and simple and just write PDF, download, and then whatever your digital product name is. Now the price plan type again is gonna be that one-time payment. And because we set up that currency before, it's automatically gonna show there. Okay, so the payment amount on here is going to be $67. You want to make sure that this payment amount matches exactly what you have in those pages that we've designed. So you are going to hit save. I've already got heaps of different payment plans in here, so I'm just not going to save this one. And I will just, I'll show you how I select a payment plan of my own. But something that I really want to make sure that you note down is once you have put in a payment plan into system.io, you cannot delete it. So make sure that all this information is correct. So this is what it would look like. I've just selected one of my own ones before, but once you save one that you've already created, it's exactly the same. It'll look like this and you just make sure that you hit save. And then you can see that it is in there, the pricing plan is in there. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an automation rule. So this is what it looks like when you've saved it. I just loaded one that I already had, but even when you create a new one, it's exactly the same. So you wanna make sure that you hit save, but you also wanna make sure that you hit save up here. Because if you don't save in those two places, it's not gonna show. And the way that you can check is by viewing the funnel step and you'll see that you have $67 there, which is the text that you updated. And then you will have your digital product pricing there as well. So that all connects everything. Okay, so let's go back and we will set up the automation if you wanted to also deliver an email. So remember when we set up that tag, that's what we're going to use to send the email. Now I find the easiest place to do that is in automation rules. So this is telling system.io what the rules are to be able to send the email. Okay, so you're gonna add the rule and it's gonna be when a new sale occurs and I'm gonna edit the automation rule and you're gonna add an action. Now you wanna add the tag. Now remember the tags are the way that we identify people when they come into the system. If you don't add tags, then it kind of makes it a bit silly when you have like hundreds of people buying stuff from you and you don't know what they bought. So that's why we set up that tag before. So you're going to find that tag that we created. Now I created a test one. Oh, and I even spelt it wrong, which is great. And then I'm going to save the rule. So when somebody buys, it's going to add a tag, which is great. It seems like a lot when you're setting this up, but remember once you set this stuff up, it runs automatically for you forever. So that's why it's great. You do a little bit of work up front and then you just let it run. Okay, so let's set up that email to actually deliver the digital product. So you're gonna to go to emails and then you're gonna to go to campaigns and then you're gonna go create. Now I'm just gonna call this test. And you can write in a description there and you only see that description. Make sure you hit save and then you're going to click on the campaign. So you're going to hit create and then you're going to write the subject. So I would probably put uh, something like thank you for purchasing and then enter the digital product name. and make sure that all your details are correct and click save. Okay, so now we are inside of the email and all you're gonna do is write some text like, hey, thanks for delivering the, thanks for buying my product, thanks for buying my digital product, here is the download. And then all you need to do is add in the download, highlight it, and you can add a link in there. So what I would recommend that you do is that for that link, like say for example, you're delivering a PDF, you link that from your Google Drive or your Dropbox. That is the best way because that means it's really easy to like do versions of digital downloads and anything like that. Then you just go save and publish. 
Now you don't need to worry about any of this because it's going to happen like straight away. So we just go activate and then we exit. And I like to come back to the funnel that we were working on just because I have quite a few funnels and I go back to the automation rule and I'm going to tell the system to send the email after the tag. So I'm going to edit this uh, again so you can see what it looks like. So remember we added the tag. So when somebody makes a purchase, it's going to add the tag digital product test. And then it's going to, we're going to tell them to subscribe to the campaign and the campaign is going to be the test one that we set up. And then you hit save. And it's really great because you've just set up all of this automatically and you can go through and test it if you want to and make sure everything works. But it is so great because once you've done all of this work up front, it just runs automatically. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.